I receive an email from Womi and it reads, Hello Mfon, thanks for all the amazing content you share on YouTube. It's been really helpful. Please, I need advice on lucrative and in-demand PA niche to choose. I'll be glad if you can help with that. Thank you. Funnily enough, I was already planning on creating a video on this topic. It was already in my content calendar for this month. What are the odds? So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you profitable and in-demand virtual assistant niches that you can choose from. Remember, we've been on this VA journey for quite a while now. And I thought to myself the other day, I think I would have created a group. <laughs> I don't just like stress. Yes, so I'm just going to create the group for you guys where you can ask your questions and get to interact with other people on this VA journey. All right, so I'm going to create that group. I'm going to add a link to all the VA videos I have created. So the link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Join the WhatsApp group and let's grow this community and grow on this journey together. We can post jobs. And when I create videos on virtual assistance opportunity or any updates I have at all, I'm going to post them there as well. So use the link in the description in the pinned comment and join the group. So I'll be sharing with you niches, sub niches, tasks involved, skills required and earning potential shall we like this video and we shall okay so first thing first why should you specialize as a va why is Wumi bothered on specializing on creating a niche for herself why not just do and take on every kind of client work in any kind of industry just do everything well let me tell you the virtual assistant industry is growing really fast if you've done currently doing or planning to start the ALX virtual assistant training, then you understand what I mean. Aside from this, people from all over the world are signing in into the remote work concept. So the competition is huge and specializing in a specific area gives you an edge. Can you merge two or three of these niches I'm going to be sharing with you or sub niches? Yes, it's totally up to you. My job is to present the information to you. I also give my opinion as well. But it's still up to you to choose. All right, so now let's talk about the best niches that are not just profitable, but also fast growing. Let's do this. First up, we have administrative and virtual office support. Okay, you'll be helping busy professionals and business owners manage their schedules, emails, and day-to-day -day tasks. All right, so sub niches, we have calendar management and scheduling sub niche two travel arrangements and expense reports three data entry and transcription four meeting coordination and note taking for tax you are going to be organizing and maintaining digital filing systems booking appointments and managing schedules for clients handling email correspondence and inbox management performing data entry for databases spreadsheets and other platforms conducting online research and preparing reports, compiling and organizing expenses, managing travels, bookings, itineraries for clients, managing customer inquiries for clients, creating and maintaining spreadsheets and so on and so forth. So you will need document management and organizational skills, time management and scheduling, email management, data entry, research skills, basic financial literacy and bookkeeping of course transcription travel, co travel coordination customer service you have to be proficient in microsoft suite as well which is ms word excel powerpoint okay so how much can you make as a virtual assistant specializing in administrative and virtual office support you can make between 15 to 30 dollars per hour Let's move on to our second niche, which is digital marketing and social media. Under this, we have different sub niche, which is SN1. Let's call it SN sub niche SN. Okay. SN1 content creation, which involves blog posts, articles, social media posts, SN2 email marketing and newsletter, SN3 SEO optimization and keyword research, SN4 paid advertising, that's Google ads, social media, that's Instagram and Facebook ads. As a digital marketer and social media VA, your tasks will include creating engaging posts, creating engaging content for blogs, social media and websites, managing email marketing campaigns, performing keywords research, SEO optimization for websites, designing graphics for social media posts, and so on and so forth. So for your skills, you have to have 
copywriting skill okay email marketing you have to be familiar with softwares like mailchimp convert kit um get response okay and the likes you need to be familiar with seo optimization keyword research you need to have basic knowledge of especially canva okay you need to have basic knowledge of editing tools you don't have to be a pro in using any of these tools i listed here premiere pro final cut pro i don't use any of this <laughs> you can use CapCut. you can use InShot. you can use hmm, what's that editing tool i started with vn yes you can use vn i currently use InShot, by the way to edit because i edit with my phone it's better that way that way i'm able to edit on the go without my laptop all right so you have to have knowledge of social media platforms like instagram facebook linkedin tiktok x you have to have knowledge of scheduling tools like hot suits buffer later there's one i use what's the name of oh my god i've forgotten the name of that schedule. that scheduling tool is the best i i don't know about others <laughs> all right there's uh you have to have knowledge you have to have basic knowledge of paid advertising i had to sit down and learn how to advertise with google and i've done it before i advertise basically all the time for my professional writing business on instagram yes so you have to have basic knowledge you have to have basic knowledge of data analysis and reporting seo writing and research as a va who specializes on digital marketing and social media you can end between what was that <laughs> you can end between 20 to 50 dollars per hour moving on to our next niche which is e-commerce and online retail now the sub niches <clears throat> are sn1 products research and sourcing two inventory management and order fulfillment three customer service and support for social media marketing and content creation all right so your task as an e-commerce va you will be managing product listing and updates product research other fulfillment tracking handling customer inquiries return complaints processing payments and refunds and so on and so forth you can pause this and read and probably write them down the one you want to go for okay all right the skills you will need you have to have knowledge of e-commerce platforms get research and analytical skills inventory management customer service of course and communication problem solving organizational skills copywriting and seo knowledge marketing sales and uh, vendor relationship management as an e-commerce va you will earn between 20 dollars 20 to 40 dollars per hour moving on to our next niche which is creative and design services let's explore the sub niches okay one graphics design and logo creation web design and development video editing and production sub niche for content writing and copy editing as a creative va your tasks will include designing logos banners and other branding materials creating engaging website layouts updating site elements editing and producing video content for youtube social media that's instagram facebook writing and proofreading copy for websites newsletters and blog creating digital and print smart marketing materials like flyers brochures and ads managing website maintenance and so on and so forth canva is easy to use but there are a lot of people that don't know how to use canva so don't ever feel like everybody know how to use canva next you have to have basic knowledge of web design video editing skills copywriting providing branding and templates creation and so on and so forth so as a creative va you can earn between 20 to 50 dollars per hour moving on to our next niche which is real estate as a real estate va your tax will include managing property listing coordinating showings and appointments handling client inquiries managing crm systems organizing contracts research markets researching market trends preparing real estate documents email campaigns reading meetings follow up on leads you need to have knowledge of real estate terms terminologies you need to have a good communication skills crm management time management research skills organization marketing basics negotiation this is top notch you need to have attention to detail and how to manage customer or client relationship as a real estate va you can earn between 25 to 60 dollars 
per hour moving on to our next in demand niche which is customer service va so as a customer service va you will be responsible for responding to clients inquiries managing live charts handling email support resolving complaints processing returns and reforms updating faqs providing technical support and so on and so forth for your skills you will need to have a good communication skill empathy problem solving crm knowledge Product knowledge, that's the product you'll be customer servicing for. <laughs> Able to resolve conflicts and data entry. So as a customer service VA, you can earn between 12 to $25 per hour. All right, so before we move on, let's quickly talk about skills and certifications that can boost your VA game in any niche. You are definitely going to need to improve on your soft skills soft skills like time management because you'll be juggling a lot of tasks simultaneously especially if you're working for like two or three clients your communication skills because the goal is not just to be working with local but international clients even if you're working with just local clients you need to improve your communication skills your problem solving skills <laughs> if you've done the alx virtual assistant training you know what's up it's going to get very hectic okay just in week the travel planning we did in that training was for you imagine you're planning that for someone someone that you send the information to and the person will just be like what's this trash do it again so it can get hurty or imagine trying to get information for a particular place i don't know if you've done the training i don't know if you took it seriously but i did so it was really hurty <laughs> i'm never going to lie and act like a superhuman here it was hectic, so you will need to improve on your problem solving skills. Here's another tip if you can take a course on project management, like a separate course for project management, get acquainted in using tools like Asana, Trello, ClickUp. I use Airtable for my content planning, <laughs> but ClickUp is cool as well. Or even take a course on social media marketing. Now, this depends on your niche but i think project management and social media marketing is super important as a virtual assistant while posting this video i don't know if i'll remember i'll leave a link to these courses in the description they are paid courses of coursera but you can apply for financial aid watch this video the video is old but the information <laughs> and the tips still applies today watch this video on how to apply for financial aid for coursera and take these paid courses for free why am i asking you to take these courses when you upskill this will not only make you stand out but it will justify your rates yes i am investing in myself i can charge certain amount of money uh-huh i am sharing with you what i am learning what i am doing and i hope you find it helpful and apply it to yourself as well speaking of pricing the amount i mentioned in the slides they are not static. The rates will be based on your experiences, the niche you choose, and the value you bring to your clients. Now, if you're new, you can start with a lower rate, say from $12 to $15. As you gain experience, raise up. And remember, don't be afraid to negotiate, okay? As you gain more skills, your value increases. That's why I'm telling you to invest in yourself and you should get paid what you're worth all right so if you found this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section which va niche you'll be diving into i'd love to hear from you you know this already drop your comments in the comment section which niche are you going for i shared mine already when i made this video and i'm looking to i don't know i don't know if i want to add more i just want to stay there for now okay so let me know in the comment section which one or how many will you be taking on thank you so much for watching this video remember the link to join the va group is in the description and the pinned comment and the video you need to watch to apply for the financial aid i'll leave the link as well in the description i have a va playlist this is it you should binge it thank you so much for watching i will see you here bye